Howdy howdy ladies and gentlemen. So the Traveller's Chosen sidearm has finally dropped in game, so here is a guide on how to obtain this exotic sidearm. So the first thing you will notice is that the Exodus quest has progressed into the next step and you will want to make sure you have completed the previous step. This just involves talking to Zavala in the tower and then travelling to Io, Titan, Mars and Mercury and completing a weekly bounty from each of the vendors. Also, each time you finish a quest chain on a planet, you receive a strike weapon reward and it could be one of the ones you've been missing from your collections. So this new quest step is Exodus Evacuation and you will again need to head to the tower and talk to Zavala. He will ask you to head to Ayo and speak to Ashir Mir. After chatting to Ashimir, he will want you to do a few things on Io, and the first set of tasks can be completed in the Lost Sector opposite him, so run in there and start killing your way through to the end. You will be getting your 25 traces of corruption by the time you get to the boss, and there will be two taken bosses, one regular one for the Lost Sector chest, and the other special one for the taken sample you need. Kill both and open the chest and then you can just quickly fast travel back to Ashimir to grab the next quest step. The next quest step will require you to load up the Pyramidian Strike, which you can just access through the map directory, as well as collect 40 scan tracers from killing Vex anywhere on Io, and surprise surprise, the Pyramidian counts as being on Io the whole way through. So just run through the strike and kill the boss at the end and you can grab your rewards and then just leave the strike. Just make sure you get your 40 kills before you get to the end boss. The next step will be to run the heroic version of Unwanted Guests Adventure. This again can be found and launched from the map directory as a new node. Run the simple adventure and you'll be done with that quest step and need to return to Ashimir once more. The next quest step will want you to go to Titan and talk to Sloan. Head to Titan and chat to Sloan to pick up the next quest step. After that, run into the nearby Lost Sector which is Methane Flush and kill the special Hive Night Boss at the end along with the regular Hive Wizard for the Lost Sector chest. Once you have completed these, grab your next step from Sloan. Then you want to head into the Solarium which is towards the same place you start the Savathun Song strike. So head into the Solarium and kill the first boss in the middle to spawn the chest you need to open. Then after this you want to head into the back right of the room, opposite from the route you go for the strike and head into the festering halls. Once you get in here you will see a big ogre boss that you will need to kill to spawn your first chest of two for this area. After you have done that then just run to the end of this area to find the second ogre you need to deal with. After this head back to Sloan to grab the next step and get ready to load up the Savathun Song strike from the map directory. You will need to collect 25 tech fragments from hive wizards, ogres and knights and you have quite a lot of these spawn in this strike so as long as you are focusing on killing these enemies when you see them then you should be able to get all the kills you need by the time you finish this strike. Once again return to Sloan to finish this step but then you will be prompted to go see Zavala. So head back to the tower and chat with Zavala to grab the next step which is to head to Mercury and talk to Brother Vance. So just load up the map directory and load up Mercury again and head to Vance. After chatting with Vance he will want you to collect 15 timeline fractures from killing Vex Hydras, Minotaurs and Cyclopses as well as complete the strike a Garden World. Again the kills can be done within the strike so just load that up from your map directory and run it through with your favourite loadout. Once these have been completed head back to Vance to grab the next step. The next step is to just run the other strike tree of probabilities and collect 40 traces of Osiris which are collected by just killing Cabal or Mercury. Also if you're like me you could end up grabbing that last pesky wanted boss for your triumphs while running all these strikes. 
Then after you complete that step, the next step is to complete the bug in the system heroic adventure, which can be found and launched from the map directory again as a new node like the previous ones. Then head back to Brother Vance, he is going to give you the strike hand cannon DFA as a reward, then you guessed it, you need to head to Mars. Now chat with Anna Bray and grab the next step. The first thing she will want you to do is go collect a data log from the mine labs. So just head toward the mine labs and once you reach the area where it loads you into the mine labs, you will see a marker on your screen. Head over to this marker to interact with a panel or monitor, whatever you want to call it, and collect your data log. Now you need to get five Rasputin frame pieces and you get these by killing the escalation protocol bosses at any level so just head over to a spot you can start an escalation protocol and most likely recently there will be already one in progress join in and kill your five bosses to complete this step once you have that step completed the next one will want you to complete the deathly tremors heroic adventure and once again this can be found and launched as a new node from the map directory this is a really fast adventure and once you have completed the quest it will update and tell you to talk to anna bray return to her to collect your nightfall rocket launcher and the the final step of the quest which is to go back to Zavala. Once you return to him he is going to outright give you your new gun. The traveler is chosen to enjoy and start playing around with. So I hope you have all found this video helpful or informative. If you haven't already then how about hitting that subscribe button and bell and help me help you more. If you want to show that, that extra support or want to give your opinion on the video then you can always give me a thumbs up or down and or leave me a comment down below. You can also catch me streaming over on Twitch and I'll leave the link in the description as well. If you want to get all of this in one place then how about joining my discord server and help build it and make it an awesome place to be so thank you all for your viewership and as always keep safe keep well and i'll catch you later